Hi, I'm Lauren Parker with Expert Village, and we're going to take a look at the source of the hum inside of this Fender Rhodes that I showed you earlier. What I've done is I've opened it up, the back panel of the keyboard comes off, there are a number of screws, a whole bunch of them in fact, and then this panel, which is normally connected up here and wired into the speakers and some of the amplifier circuits with these connectors, is um, connected into it. So it normally sits up on the side like this with this power transformer underneath and uh, this case on. I've taken off these screws. And here's just a really, really, really important point. If you're going to take something apart, try and keep track of the screws. Um, there are a lot of screws in taking apart this piece. And uh, one good idea is to use uh, empty pill bottles or Altoids tins to keep the screws in, especially if you're going to keep something disassembled for a while. Furthermore, if you're not sure where these are going to go when you have to put it back together, absolutely take some digital pictures of it. Use your cell phone camera, use your digital camera, whatever. And here we have, I am almost super, 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 super sure the cause of our home. Right here we have a 3,000 microfarad capacitor and we have another 3,000 microfarad capacitor. And these big conical capacitors that look like this, back in the 60s they were built like this. This is paper and, um, paper and metal wrapped around in layers and then soaked in mineral oil. And as soon as you see these in any kind of old gear, you know that that's probably going to be the source of the hum because that mineral oil starts to evaporate over the years and as something becomes 40, 50 years old, they dry out and they no longer provide the function that they're supposed to provide, which is to filter out that 60 cycle hum and to provide clean power. Without clean power, all the circuits inside of this instrument waver up and down to the 60 cycles that they're getting out of the power supply. And then no matter how great everything else is in this keyboard, you're always going to hear bah. So most problems in most of the vintage gear that I see, especially radios and amplifiers, come back to these um, mineral oil capacitors, paper and oil capacitors. And the way you find them is always look for the power transformer. In this big instrument, I can see the power transformer is in this assembly, so I knew to open up this assembly, and that was where I was going to find my capacitors. So if I go to the store, I'm going to buy a 3,000 microfarad capacitor and see it's rated at 50 volts DC, and another 3,000 microfarad capacitor at 50 volts DC. And it doesn't matter what type, how big they are. In fact, modern ones might only be this big. But if I solder it back into the same wires that it's soldered to right here, then I'll be in um, much better shape than I am right now. So these are my culprits. If anything's going to go bad inside of a power supply, it's going to be these mineral oil capacitors.